Day 221. <laughs> Have uh, successfully stayed a night away from the uh, Looks like I survived cave at night. the uh, Central Lake, at Climber's Cave. Uh, before I leave here, to, it uh, occurs to me I should actually grab some of the charcoal I made yesterday so I can successfully keep mapping and uh, surveying the territory I encounter so I can actually complete <laughs> the quest I'm on for the uh, Faithful Cartographer achievement. I've only spent six months trying to do this, trying to claw my way out of Great Bear Island. I'd hate to, like, have to come back and be like, oh, I forgot one once I've completed the desolation point. <laughs> so, uh, but, uh... Especially when I'm at these high points, and I know that altitude assists with uh, the navigation effects, I like to uh, look down upon the land that is trying to slowly kill me, and at least give it a decent portrait. Because the last man on earth wants the world to know he respects them i don't know <laughs> you get a little crazy you get a little batty when you've spent six months by yourself in the cold frozen northern arctic but how's your day <laughs> all right so uh as you can tell uh we are uh, starting to work our way around uh, essentially the uh, southern and gonna do uh, sort of the western edge of uh ash canyon uh, I need to uh, pick up a couple of locations there. I think I'm down to under five. I think I've got about five more locations that I need to uh, successfully chart on this map. Uh, so we're going to try and start knocking those out and just get a lot of focus on the job. I know a lot of this uh, coming to this map was initially uh, get to the gold mine, get the technical back, get the crampons, and we've gotten those. And we've been cave living very comfortably for, I'll have to do the math, but I think it's like a week or two. But it's time to uh, get this map completed. And then the next project is to uh, get ourselves on to Timberwolf Mountain. Because it seemed logical to me that if I wanted to complete both maps, it would be smartest to come to Ash Canyon, get the equipment... While I'm here, I might as well finish Ash Canyon and then use the climbing equipment to better ascend uh, for uh, Timberwolf Mountain. Not just me going with logic and common sense. I am fully aware that Timberwolf Mountain has been around a lot longer than Ash Canyon, but if they're introducing the gear and the gear exists, I'm going to use it in that order because... This is when I'm getting to everything as far as playing Crusade. So, welcome to my insanity. Speaking of insanity, or at least uh, my own personal insanity, we'll call it Hinderland's Brilliance. Yes, I am well aware of the expansion pack coming out next week. And yes, I will absolutely be getting into it. Um, for anyone who's curious, uh, it felt good to play something slightly different uh, in October, basically uh, kind of uh, doing that uh, Dark Walker, you know, proved my mortality. I, for reference, I play a lot of side games just for fun, where I'm not playing near as conservative and safe as I try to here on Crusade. That's, that's how you survive 200 days. You play very cautiously but there are some times where i want to try crazy stupid stuff like yes i actually do want to hunt bear yes i actually do want to hunt moose i play those on side games and stuff and i die all the time on it uh if you're curious about why such and such happened and such and such different that's all anyway um, yes, I do plan on uh, playing uh, Tales from the Far Land. I'm thinking that's going to be a completely separate series. Like, uh, I tried to live stream for a little bit of um, Interloper. Um, I don't know if I'll do Interloper, but especially considering it 
technical reference here. There's going to be a uh, formatting upgrade uh, with this thing, basically meaning that I'm going to need to turn time cancel on to continue with Crusade. Not the worst thing in the world, but I'm aware of it, and that is my intention. Longtime fans, breathe easy. Commander Tom will do whatever is necessary to try to keep uh, Crusade going as long as he can. Uh, I want to either get uh, the uh, completionist uh, badge or die trying. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm not waiting until Crusade is done just to get play, you know, the new Tales from the Farland material. So I'm thinking I'm going to start a second save and probably that'll mean a second series, which might mean I'll be going back up to like uh, two episodes a week is my goal. Um, I do apologize for a oh, slight production delay. I've had a little bit of real life busyness. Nothing tragic, nothing anyone needs to worry about. It's just stuff is needed to get done. I've needed to be the one to get to do it, which means video has been a little bit slow. And for that, you do have my sincere apologies. For all of you who have stuck with us and kept watching, God bless you. Commander Tom appreciates it. <laughs> but no, um, I'm really looking forward to a lot of the material. I love uh, new maps. I hear there's new storylines. And finally, new equipment, too. Um, I'm thinking I'll try and save most of my, let's be honest here, salivating for a special video about Tales from the Far Territory. Um, and uh, I'll probably crank out a special one-off video on the news uh, thread that I have on here. Um, regardless, uh, Crusade's not going to go anywhere unless it becomes insanely hard to do it. I haven't futzed with Time Capsule too much, but I can't believe it's much more than a few toggles, so I'm sure that'll be fine. And, uh, keep watching. Content will be a coming. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of keep sussing through here. If I'm not mistaken, I'm coming pretty close to the, uh, entrance cave that I came in here to begin with and you're not uh, crazy yes since I'm a little bit more mobile and I'm kind of be playing a nomad for a couple of days I figure I'd err on the side of caution and uh, you know live off the land so cattail man nature's hot dog except only by appearance <laughs> and the part that looks like a hot dog is not the part that you want to eat. All right, I want to confirm just one detail here. I'm pretty sure this is the same cave that I entered here. Yeah, it is. Okay, so if that's the uh, entrance cave, then I want to go a little bit more this direction and play Long Dark's favorite game of pick up sticks. Oh, someone dropped a comment and asked uh, why I pick up sticks, but I and I chop up logs, but I practically uh, never break branches. Time. <laughs> um, logs provide the you know enough fire time and wood to justify the investment. Branches, for all intents and purposes, are just instantaneous. Pick them up, grab and grow. Branches, you either need to use a tool, which cuts on wear, or you need to, like, invest 15 minutes to break it, which pillars for the rest. Perfect. One of the things I needed to mark off. Um, branches, you need to spend, like, 15 minutes to break a branch? How hard is this branch? I, I speak as someone who goes camping pretty regularly a couple times every year. I've never spent 15 minutes breaking a branch into like three pieces. What the hell? So it just feels like a too much time loss for not enough fire time gain, you know, return of investment, so to speak. And I kind of hate to be that particular but 
it's just been my experience with um, when you're fighting a game, when you're playing a game in which the uh, weather and the elements are such a critical variable, um, I just am kind of picky sometimes, you know. Uh, and 15 minutes for three sticks seems a little bit of a hard ask when I could spend 10 to 15 minutes sharpening my blade. Uh, hell, I can boil up a tea in nine minutes. You're telling me it takes longer than a tea boil to snap a branch? <laughs> and I'm not dogging on Hinderlin in any way, shape, or form, okay? I'm like over a thousand hours on this game, so I'm not going to insult them one iota. Clearly, this is a solid game. But that one game mechanic of 15 minutes to break a branch, nine minutes to boil a warm tea. I've never understood that. You're telling me it takes longer to boil water than to pick up a branch and break it over my knee. I just, no, no, I don't. But, uh, you know, I don't specifically know where I'm crashing tonight. So I am picking up sticks because, well, I would like to uh, have a fire when I get there. So um, now I've got pillars actually uh, surveyed. I'm going to focus a little bit more closely, especially as I see more snowflakes falling, on where I'm crashing tonight and uh, getting that location uh, kind of uh, shored up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the grind, you skip the time, and I will catch you in a moment. Be wary, wary, quiet. I'm hunting venison. I can see a deer out there, and, you know, venison steak sounds good for supper. I'm not too far from the cave I thought I'd be sleeping in tonight anyway. So this could be a very fortunate uh, fall if I can get it right. Cause you can, I'm sure you can see the deer I've got in my sights. Okay, and oh, oh, Commander Tom, fail. Ugh. Okay, we still aren't uh, quite done with this yet. He's not running too far away. The thing I like about uh, the AI on this is that, yeah, they buck and run, but they don't really run that far. So, if you can have patience, you can probably be okay. Alright. Where are you? I just want to have you for supper. There you are. Okay. You're right. This is even better. You're like right up soon. next to the cave I want to sleep in tonight. You're not a deer. You're delivery. Ah, oh, come on. Go on back up there. You're not going to? Okay, that's fine. Anywhere in this area is going to be just fine. And I am getting a little hungry, but I'll be patient and I'll, uh, have a uh, cattail snack. Where did you go? Can't believe you went too far. Come on. Let Commander Tom find you and I'll solve all your problems. It's cold outside. Let me take you someplace where I can warm you up by a nice cozy fire one flank steak at a time there you are okay let's see if I can get this one right and there we are <laughs> oh yeah boy okay so pick up my arrow no I said pick up my arrow yep there we are Alrighty, and uh, like I said, uh, this was the cave I had in mind. I don't think, I don't see any signs of uh, bear skulls or anything, so I think we're going to be okay. 
Yep. And before the weather gets any worse, let's try to get the uh, surveying in. Nicely done. Okay. Um, I think the game plan is going to be uh, drop some gear in here. And then I might take a few moments to actually... Uh, no, I'm a little bit hungry, so I don't know if I necessarily want to... Uh, 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 I'm trying to do too many things at once. Think, plan, work, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to bore you with inventory management simulator. Give me a second. All right, so I uh, went ahead and uh, dropped some gear as well as collected some firewood because as the snow is coming down, I feel that this could uh, turn the weather on us pretty much any time now. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, eat another cattail or so just to keep my calories up enough that while I'm processing this thing, I don't lose that well-fed bonus. That would be dumb. Now come on, fire. Find a place to place for me because I would like to actually... Yeah. I don't think the cold's too bad here. It's 25 calories. Yeah. Uh, with the snow changing and the time factor involved let's just set up a safety fire just to err on the side of caution I've got a fair amount of wood here so let's just err on the side of caution stick okay and uh, I'll kind of show you my processing trick when you're a little low on calories here uh, you know start a fire and then go ahead and add at least a log on here. Get yourself like at least an hour on time. And I think I forgot one detail here. Let me just uh, take a quick look. Forgive me. When you're trying to do like 12, to 12 things at a time, it's like, uh, what did I forget? And uh, you can, t uh, there's the sticks I dropped earlier. I want to go ahead and drop the wood off here, at least most of it. That way my weight is freed up for me to, um, let's keep my, I like to keep my sticks and my firewood kind of separate. Uh, and then that'll free up my weight so I can carry all that lovely venison back into the cave. Uh, and then I think I may even go to the uh, extreme of cut out a steak first and then put it on the fire to cook while I'm processing the rest of the deer. That, you know, is a little bit of an efficiency thing if you're cutting things a little bit close. But, you know, whatever works for you. Okay, I've got that hour and a half on there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and even uh, cook up a tea just to uh, keep the thermals on here. I just really do not like the uh, look of the snow I'm seeing. And I just like to live to see another day. Uh, why is my hatch? Where is my knife? There we are. The hail. Okay, while my tea is brewing, we'll cook two steaks. We'll cut out two steaks while my tea brews. And you can tell I'm getting a little bit calorically lean, but I'll get some with the tea, so I'm not supremely concerned about that. Okay, we'll go ahead and throw that back, and that'll give me a warmth bonus, and that'll give me the uh, calories on that, so that's good there. Put a couple of steaks onto the fire. Okay, I got an hour 13 on the fire, and uh, what do we got here? Okay, I've got 300 calories I can futz with. Uh, okay. In an hour, uh, yeah, okay. So I'll be, take a look here. Three minutes, yeah. I did a little cheat time cut out just to avoid having the steaks burn <laughs> because I don't want them to burn. And there we are. Okay. Yummy in my tummy. That takes care of the calories for a good day here. And uh, go ahead and 
I'm camping here for the night, so I'm just trying to make use of the fire. Yeah, and I really don't like the sound of that wind. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. All right. Let's go ahead and take that steak. How much time I got left on the fire? Eight minutes. See, I knew the weather was coming. How much I got left on here? Let's go ahead. I've got the tea in my system. Can I add can I add that last stick? Will that give me any time to stare on the side of caution? It doesn't look like it. It's not gonna let me sustain it. Okay. Let's just Iron Man through this. I've got a hot tea in my system, and I'm not that far from shelter. So I should be okay that way. Stats. Looks like I'm doing okay. All right. Alrighty. And now that I'm into the shelter, I've got plenty of food, firewood. Let me get settled in here, and I will catch up with you in a moment. All right. Fire is going, water is boiling, and uh, the meat is cooking. We just need to throw a bed down, and I could say we could call this a uh, home for the night. Uh, no. Uh, okay, 85 degrees. Good to see <laughs> Storm still blowing outside. Yeah, I'm staying here tonight. So, uh, let me show you what I do when I'm kind of waiting out the storm before I actually want to go to bed. This is the perfect time for you to kind of process everything you're picking up here. Uh, we'll start off with the rose tips, although I'm very happy to have encountered a fair bit of birch bark. Uh, this is probably one of the richer uh, locations I've seen for uh, birch bark in the map. So, as uh, useful as that stuff is for uh, being basically that um, uh, restorative sleep, that's just like, yes, please, thank you, may I have another? So, I've gotten, uh, I picked up like 14 of those, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and process that up, so... I had never heard, I was not aware that like Ash Canyon was the place to go for birch bark. So that by itself is actually kind of good to know in all honesty. Uh, I am kind of cooking up a steak or two just to, if you've got this much meat, you might as well get that uh, calorie bar up as high as possible. Um... So, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to sit on my butt, warm by a fire, chugging tea and uh, chewing venison as I sleep for the night. And I will sleep the sleep of the happy. <laughs> because why the heck wouldn't you? I get to live for another eyes. day. Um, but especially with that storm as it is, I think we can tell that this is going to be my evening by the campfire. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Going through my inventory, again, I tried to spare you inventory management simulator, I realized I did not snag the hide off of this thing, and I'll be danged if I don't. So, it's only 26% frozen, so it's not that bad. Uh, my temperature is going to go down, but I've got a nice warm fire to run back into. Okay, and it wasn't even critical. I didn't even go red. Sweet. Okay. And with that, I think we'll call it a successful night. Uh, if you want to see more, that's what playlists are for. And if you want to support the channel, vote with your dollars here at Patreon. But mostly, if you want to know if I live to see tomorrow, leave a like and subscribe. I'm Commander Tom. I will see you next time. Thanks.